Alola, Dapper Drabby here, and today we have another box opening for you. We have the one and only premium collection box of Shadow Espeon GX Premium Collection. Includes the Espeon GX, the Umbreon GX, and an Eevee. Um, you know what? I'm going to leave a like goal for this. If you guys leave five likes on this video, I will do a deck tech of an Espeon deck in an Umbreon deck. Now, Espeon's best known for his role in uh, Garbodor decks. Like, he, here's some of his uh, primary partners you see in a lot of decks. You see Gar Garbodor with the Trash of Lands. Does 20, 20 damage for each item card in your opponent's discard pile. He's well known in the competitive scene for that one energy cost to hit for tons of damage unless they don't play a lot of items. He's also played with Tapu Koko. You know, with Divide GX, he can put 10 damage counters on Tapu Koko. And uh, speaking of that, they both pair with uh, Haunch Crow. Oh, here's the trouble. Here's the trouble right here. If you evolve that, and here's the Murkrow to evolve this. So uh, Tapu Koko, Espeon, Haunch Crow is also a well-known deck, a rogue deck, I guess, where uh, Ravenclaw does 10 more damage for each damage counter on all your opponent's Pokemon, so... You know, you divide pretty early and go ahead and get 100 damage down there and then spread some damage with Flying Flip to be able to hit for 120 every turn with Haunch Crow. So, like, there's some of the, the main uh, main two Pokemon that usually get uh, paired up with Espeon GX. Umbreon, I've seen it paired with a lot of things. Like, I personally pair it with, like... Um, Sylveon, but uh, it's paired a lot with Zoroark because Zoroark's a good uh, dark attacker. Um, seen it paired with Wobbuffet and uh, even Frostglass. But we're gonna get this open. But actually, let's read the back first. I don't know why I'm skipping that part. Shine on! That's right, shine on! With uh, Espeon GX, the Sun Pokemon Espeon is a loyal friend for any trainer. And Espeon GX brings a powerful Psybeam and Divide GX attacks to your game. This collection brings a U Espeon GX as a foil promo card, an oversized pin, an oversized card, a pin, and a coin, along with foil cards featuring Eevee, Umbreon, Eevee and Umbreon GX. Light a path to victory with the power of Espeon GX. So, I assume that this Espeon is going to be worth more than the the alternate alt form for the Umbreon because Espeon has proven itself to be better in tournament play. But we're going to go ahead and bust this open. And wow, I just tore off the front. That worked well. Um, let me just take it off camera for a second. Let's get this. Class, or get this cardboard off so that we can see the product right there. Toss that aside. Spoon right there. There's, there's your three you're looking for right there. Let me see if I can actually uh, zoom in a little bit. So you have Espeon GX with side beam, which confuses, which is very well known. Um, Psychic does 30 more damage for the amount of energy on your opponent's Pokemon. When they start stacking energy, Psychic just mm, makes them regret it. And then Divide, put the 10 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. You have Umbreon with Strafe and Shadow Bullet and Dark Call. I went over that in the Umbreon GX video. And then of course Eevee, we get another Hollow Eevee with that energy evolution to be able to evolve. Um, as soon as we put an energy down on Eevee, um... I was like, it's not, when I hit the camera, it's not uh, focusing on what I wanted to focus on. So it looks like Mr. Dark Call himself has already fallen out. Let me see if I can get these guys out of here with minimal damage. There's the Eevee. And there's the Espeon. I'll go ahead and bust out the coin here as well. So you get this cool Espeon coin, which it is originally 
regular light. It looks like it's the purple color of Espeon, but obviously, you know, it shows in all sorts of multicolors here. I'm going to go ahead and put this in front of Plumera. We get an Espeon pin, so if you like your pins, there's your, there's your Espeon one right there. So I don't have autofocus, so I literally have to focus it every time. Very cool pin, I must say. Very, very cool. Very, uh, very much like, and look, it like stands on its, no, nope, never mind. It does not stand on its own. I am imagining things. It does not stand on its own. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six packs in total. It gives you a code card for the online content. Um, I will be redeeming that so that I can play an Espeon deck for you guys. Play an Umbreon deck for you guys so you guys can see that coming up soon, you know. It might be post, uh, it might be after we end up trying to get some of our Burning Shadow stuff, but I think I have at least one more week before I can do Burning Shadow stuff, so. We will see. We might end up doing Espeon next week, but here is the Jumbo promo. Sun and Moon... 35 promo. And these jumbos are very cool. I have a collection over here. Um, and then we get, let us say, six packs. Steam Siege, Breakthrough, Guardian Rising, Evolutions, Guardian Rising, and Sun and Moon. Um, generally, I've had the best luck by opening them up in that order. But uh, before we run away with the packs, let's be, go ahead and get some sleeves on these... Uh, Special promo cards, right? Since they are important. Since this is an SBM box. I'll just put this up here. You guys can't see anything else, right? Um, I'll put them in front of the Drabbies. There we go. So we'll put... Whoa, I moved the whole Pokeball. So we'll put Espeon here in front of Carl. We'll put Eevee in the middle. Sorry for the quietness. Um, just taking our time. Making sure we take good care of these things. Because, I mean, even though you're getting this as a promo, it's still the one from the set, as you can see here. It's not going to focus. There we go. Still says 80 from 149. So it's as if you pulled it from Sun and Moon set. It has the same value as the ones pulled from Sun and Moon set. But you got it easier, I guess. And all these seem to be, like, we kept them in decent shape. Didn't hurt them too bad. So let's go ahead. We'll bust into the packs now. Let's see who Espeon brought with them. Did they bring the Haunt Crow? Or the... Or the Trouble? The Trouble Trubbish, right? But let's see. We're going to start with Steam Siege here. We're going to see if we can get... One of the cards we've been looking for. We've been looking for a good break card in this set for a while. We'll see if it comes in this. So it is 3 and 2 for Steam Siege. Because it is an older set. Before they started giving you free energies. That you have too much of. So we got that Nose Pass with that Thunder Wave. And Rolling Tackle. Nidoran. He's coming along. We got Leo. A Sneasel. Meryl. Meryl. Claw Fossil Anorith, a Skip Bloom, that Fletchender with Glide. There we go. There we go. I like that. One of my favorite. You guys might have saw my video of him yesterday. We got the Yen Mega Break with Barrier Break. Very, very cool. And our rare in the pack is a Moongus. This is a nice pull. These are the kind of things you hope for in these kind of boxes because they... It doesn't take away from your white codes, right? <laughs> Come on. Come on, Yen Mega. I'm halfway there to get my Yen Mega break deck. Which I know, before you guys say it, I know that he's supposedly going to be terrible as soon as Forest goes away. But I I kind of disagree. Because, um, I mean, the main ability he uses is his um, stage one, not his break evolution. Break evolution is just there for... Uh, um, higher consistency on the damage because um, he hits for 100 immediately rather than um, Yamega hits 
for 120, but only if your opponent has a tool card attached. So, one, two, three. We are in breakthrough. Hoping for something good here. Maybe we can get another break, right? So we got that Cyntaquil. Look at that. He's just toasty by the fire. I love Cyntaquil. He's so cool. Spritzy, new meta. Um, Remoraid. And Axew with that brat, brat snack. Woo bat. A town map. That's not bad. Go goat. A swoo bat. It's evolving. We get a reverse foil rare Gengar. Look at that. Look at that right there. Wow. He's coming for you right there. Sinister Fog and Creep Show. If your opponent's active Pokemon has three damage counters or more. It's Pokemon not out. So talk about somebody that can match up with Espeon right there. You know, you put what is this? So you, if you put an active Pokemon, okay. So it's only the active for Creep Show, but uh, you know, look, Sinister Fog. Your opponent's active Pokemon is not poison. Put one damage counter on one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So you could also poison with the, and then put the vipers down to bump up that ability that anything's gonna have three eight key damage counters or just creep show to get the win. And our rare in the pack is a Meloetta. I did not know that was a hollow in this set. Just to be honest, I did not know that was a hollow in this set. So two for two on the reverse foil splot. Um This is a cool card. Hey, come on, get in a sleeve. Get in the sleeve, Gengar. So there we go. So we're going to put our reverse foil rare stuff over here. Meloetta. I guess I'll just throw a sleeve on you. And I see I, the problem is I don't want to cover up anything on this slide over here. Because you got your Espeon pen, your Espeon coin, and your Plumeria. Which I don't want to cover up Plumeria. So I guess we're going to go with rares here and rare hollows here. And then all other cards over here. We'll leave this spot for reverse foil on commons. Okay, let's bust into a Guardian's Rising pack. Sorry if this is taking long. Uh, and I guess I'm in a slower pace today than normal. So, let's see what Guardian's Rising has brought for us. So, one, two, three, and four. It's a grass energy. Which we have a specific pile for energies, which is a way. Uh, did I stack them up now? I did stack them up now, so. Let's see, we got that Scamper Away Wimpod. Is he going to be good in the Gulusapod deck, or is the other Wimpod going to be better? We got Gumi. Hey, Whalmer. Beldum. Rock Ruff. Rock Ruff. Rock Ruff Lock. Rock Ruff Lock is what I'm going to call it now. Hakama O. A Brooklet Hill. With that Glyce Gore. Cast Form. So, it's our first reverse foil on common. And our rare in the pack is a Politoed Hollow. Talk about hollows. So, there we go. Just get a sleeve on the Politoed. Where's my first rare? Amoongus? Hi. Right. So Meloetta, Politoed. Ooh, can we hope for a GX or an EX in this now? I don't know. It's two hollows. Generally what you get with uh when you get two white codes. Let's see, we're go we're busting into evolutions now. Let's get rid of the code. One, two, three, and two. Which unfortunately just does not have any breaks. So and we get a fairy energy out of our only ten cards, right? Which I do like that energy though. You don't see that fairy energy. It's really cool, old school style. Uh, Voltorb, Tangela, Poliwhirl with Poliwag with the Swirl, Seal, and Pokédex, a Haunter. Oh, look, we could evolve Gengar now. Energy Retrieval, a Reverse Foil Nidoran, and our rare is Electrode, which is not a bad rare. Looks like there's a ding taken out of this Nidoran too. Okay, okay, let's turn this back around. Espeon, who else did you bring? You got two more packs here. Two more packs. A Guardian's Rising and a Sun and Moon. Um, now, you're in one of these sets, so... You could pull a, pull one of yourself, and then I'd really have actually... I'd actually finally have enough Espeons to actually build a deck out of it. So let's go ahead. We'll pull a code out. 
keep it for later. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to guess it's a psychic energy because we're opening up a psychic box. It's probably not, though. It's another fairy energy. So I've gotten three energies, right? <laughs> so we got that carnivine. Carvana. Carvana. Carnivine. I don't know why I say Carnivine when it's Carvana. Okay, Patrat, a Gothita that casts form with that weather tella. Tentacruel, a Lola Mola, a Mola Mola, a Bola Lola Mola, a Rescue Stretcher, very nice. Komala, Komala, yeah. Tentacruel, and our rare in the pack is a, ooh, a Lolan Sand Slash. I'm not mad about that. I love me some Alolan Sand Slash. He's on my team in the game. But Tentacool Reverse. Ugh. Okay, last pack. Last pack magic. What are you bringing with you, Lunala? I guess we got all our good luck in the first one, right? Okay, one, two, three, and four. What do we get, Carl? Espeon? Eevee? You know, what's a good name for uh, Espeon? Does everybody just name it Sakura right now? Let's see. Let's guess a dark energy. Ah, oh, I'm so bad at that game. But let's go ahead. We'll bust into this pack. What do we get? Last pack. Was it any magic? We get Sparrow with that peck bug. See pecks bugs. Picky peck. I'm talking about peck. Sandial. And a Lolan Rattata with that free gnaw. He's gnawing you. We got a Ruckus Snubble. A Lima. A Dragonair. One of my favorite cards from this set. I love Dragon's Wish. It's my wish. Dragon's Wish. Double Colorless Energy. That's a very nice card to pull. Reverse Foil, Lolan Grimer. I don't know which one's better. This one or the Dark version. You never know. And our rare in the pack is an Arcanine Hollow. Oh, I love this one. I love Arcanine. So look at that. Three Hollows. And an Alolan Grimer. Oh, that one has a price tag on it, but I'll put it in here anyways. It's not worth that much. Okay, our canine. Let's get a sleeve on you. So, give me a moment and we'll go over what we got here. Seems like our first two packs had the luck in it. But, uh... We'll see what the Espeon GX box brought... I can't grab these two, but you've seen them. But you've seen them. And I guess these are the best pulls, actually. <laughs> so no Super uh, super EX or Super GX, but we got a couple of nice trainers here with a Rescue Stretcher, Brooklet Hill, Double Colors Energy, all very useful stuff right there. Alolan Grimer, he might be good. As an alternative uh, to the other Grimer. With the Super Poison Breath, you can put that poison down. And then we got a Lolan Sand Slash and Electrode, which all both have their place in certain things. But let's see what the hollows we brought, you know. EV is a hollow. Got It's a promo, but it's still considered part of the set. And it also gave us a free Umbreon, which is always cool to get. We get an Espeon GX with Psybeam and Psychic and Divide. Very cool. A Meloetta Hollow with Accelerating Spin, which is not even bad. Attach two Fighting Energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon, then switch it with one of your bench Pokemon. And you can Primo Rinda for, uh, for 110 damage, which is pretty cool, but won't see much play. It does have 90 HP. We get Palitoad with that Roll Call and Hyper Jump, and then... An Arcanine with Searing Flame, Fire Storm. I still want to try Arcanine with, like, Glorantis just because, just because I can and because I love Arcanine. And another rare we got was this Reverse Foil Rare Gengar. Creep Show is very nice. Sinister Fog is cool. And then our rarest card I think we pulled was this Yen Mega Break. It's a very cool card. Very useful. It won the World Championship last year. Go check that out. Um, this has been Dapper Drabby. Um, I bid you guys a Lola. One week away. One week and we will start buying Burning Shadows as quickly as we can. Spending all my money. And uh, we'll get them opened up for you guys. 
Um, this has been Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys a Lola, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye now. Girl. <laughs>